Oh no, what's that? Oh no, I've been digitized? My whole body's been downloaded into some sort of computer server? I don't know what to do. I guess I'll watch this basketball game? We saw Space Jam New Legacy and you know what that means. This time, this time, this time, this time. This How did this get made? With Peter and Chris. This time, this time, this time, this time. It's How Did This Get Made, the podcast. Hello, people of Earth. I'm Peter Shear. I mean, Peter Carlone. And this week, we are talking about a kid's movie released uh, July 16th, 2021, directed by Malcolm D. Lee, starring Don Cheadle and some others. Uh, if you aren't familiar with the film, it is a reboot of the 1996 <laughs> classic film Space Jam, in which a basketball star, in our case, LeBron James, has to save his whole family, nay, a portion of the whole world, uh, with his basketball skills all while fighting animated characters from the from the uh, Warner Brothers intellectual property library. Uh, this is there's so much to talk about, and I can't wait to get into it with my co-hosts Chris Wilson and Stacy McGonagall. Chris and Stacy, how are you doing? We are doing good. I actually I spoke for Stacy. I'm doing good. Uh, Stacy, you take that. You know, question. I, I was doing good. I was wearing a tank top and feeling really confident, and then I got arm insecure, and I've put this cardigan on, and now I'm warm, and it was a mistake. But I'm happy to be here. And I think it's hard for us to be like to to help make you feel better about that because I want to, but right. I also don't want to come off as a guy who was like, oh, I liked looking at you. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we thought that you looked good. nice to begin with. You look nice That's both uh, ways. Uh, we didn't want to. We would never say that as for fear of you know uh, being too male oh. uh, and we, coming down to course, too masculine and the male or gaze. <laughs> Or even uh, just mean. <laughs> or mean. Oh, you know. Uh, well, by saying that she looks nice? Well, I'm That's just saying, mean. like, Stacey, can we say you have you shouldn't have arm insecurity, or is that creepy? Uh, listen, I would love arms. to hear that I shouldn't have arm insecurity. I think that's a beautiful <laughs> opening for a great uh, conversation for both sides. So, And, of course, we are here to not talk about arms no. in any way today, because we are here to talk about Space Jam. Well, we can't uh, talk about one. arms because LeBron hardly used his in the film. So, <laughs> <laughs> And we're into it. That's a good, and we're off that's a to good the races. point. Um, overall... I, I, I think this film, it, it, it was it was a, a, a wet fart of a movie. It was really, I didn't like it. <laughs> and you I know, didn't enjoy it. I've seen worse films for sure, but this is among them. And I would, I would argue that saying that it is a wet fart is almost insulting to a wet fart because a wet fart <laughs> meant true. that you had to eat prep. You had to eat, you had to do something exciting. There's work that goes into a wet fart, exactly. Of course, there's something to hold the wet fart to support it. And I and, uh, yeah. So this was sort of like a dry gas, and it wasn't even a fart, it just sort of leaked out. Yeah, it was like, yeah. was that a fart or was that a tree rustling? What's happening uh, at Space Jam 2? Yeah, and I guess to recap, if you haven't, if you didn't see Space Jam 2, it's basically it, it it does follow similar plots to Space Jam One, which we'll be you know talking about here too, uh, in that um, some sort of outside force is making everybody play a basketball game, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. in order to um, Space Jam Two. It's unclear really. I don't know what <laughs> LG Rhythm Don Cheadle's character really really wants to do. Listen, he wants we... to use them, their yeah. intellectual property, I guess, or their physical property and put them in any movie and anything that he wants. I think let's let's we, we got to get <laughs> to his motivations first. But I think it's really important for a film like this to understand all of the characters inner motivations. Mm. And right? it is a film. It is. Yeah, and it is a film. Um, and so if we start off at the very beginning, the thing that killed me was just like they were having family problems. In a house that was maybe thirty million dollars. <laughs> yeah. So it's like the movie starts off in his private basketball court, and these two brothers are trying to figure out, like, I don't know, like, why doesn't Dad love me or something like that. Well, and that's yeah. true. May I just quickly correct? Because the movie does start off with young LeBron James at yes. a basketball oh, yeah. game, right. and he misses the shot because yeah. he's, yeah, uh, wasn't his fundamentals weren't there because he oh, yeah, loves Game yeah. Boy. Yeah, he, he was Game playing games. Yeah, yeah, he was having fun and doing video games. I can't tell if this movie <laughs> likes or hates video games. Like there was this weird love-hate relationship with how bad they are for you or how good they can be or something like that. 
I didn't know the, pl the, the theme there. Well, let me tell you, video games don't win at the end either, right? Because they still had to uh, include a basketball, saying I'm not going to lose focus of my happiness, which is absolutely not this video game camp that I've only wanted to go to. Yeah. So LeBron James in the film uh, wants his son to play basketball, and he's just interested in computer programming and, <laughs> and making video games. And let me say, he is the greatest video game developer yeah. of all time. The kid. By he, himself, he, he made a triple A game. Yeah. And he made a game that evolves and basically thinks for itself. It changes constantly as it goes. It just like, <laughs> it becomes its own thing. It thinks for itself, which is incredible technology. And I thought it was interesting that LeBron had lost a grasp on his son, um, <laughs> considering his bedroom is what I could only describe as a mainframe. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's right. He has like, it's like you enabled his addiction to video games. He you bought him seven screens. monitors. <laughs> yeah, he has so many monitors. And then like, what do you think he's doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> and also, it was confusing off the top because I didn't real. I there was a moment, and I'm wondering if you guys thought this as well, but probably not, that they might have been his real kids for some reason. Like I was like, are these his real kids? I had yeah. that thought too. Yeah. But LeBron does have kids that are those exact ages. Yeah. Those aren't his uh, children, though. Well, and it's good um, casting in that sense. But I did. I leaned over to my friend because we were talking about the same. We were all having that same topic. Is it really the kids? And I was like. If it is, that's embarrassing because they are acting circles around their actual father, if yes. that's the case. Like, they yeah. were clearly actors that were hired because I don't know if uh, <laughs> you guys can guess at how LeBron acts, but you know, he's terrible. He, oh, boy. I, I don't want to put this. Um, sorry, the cardigan has to come off, you guys. I'm so warm. But, nice uh, arms. Thank you, honestly, so Peter, much. Peter, what are you doing? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The male gaze. Call I'm sorry to meet you. Peter. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, no, you know what? When you buy a top that's a pajama top from Amazon, you want you want the attention that you've done a good yeah, job. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but but I did think that LeBron was acting like, you know, when you get hungover and you're just kind of um, grumpy the whole, like he just was so grumpy <laughs> at his whole life, um, which was yeah. confusing. Which yeah. makes sense because if we if we move forward into the next part of it, you'll start to realize the way that the movie saved uh, shoot days for LeBron by like digitizing <sighs> him for a good chunk of the movie. I was <laughs> so did. mad. Sorry, Chris, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> there was that moment compared to Space Jam 1 and Space Jam 2 where you knew, and because we all watched The Last Dance, that uh, Michael Jordan <laughs> was like on set a lot. A lot. He was uh, an active part of the film. And this one for sure had that like LeBron James didn't. There was a part in the film where I was like, how many days did he actually shoot? Yeah. Because they, they, they made him a cartoon for yeah. a good half of it. Yeah. So he could just voice over and that's an afternoon. Yeah, he got that. Oh, he crapped that out in an afternoon, especially judging by the performance of the audio. Well, also, yeah. He definitely just oh, said yeah. the lines a couple times and then And that's on. the thing. They gave LeBron far too much uh, opportunity to act. If you watch Space Jam, <laughs> Michael Jordan doesn't have that much time to act because the Looney Tunes are actual characters in, in the movie. Yes. Oh. They they have lines and they're fleshed out and Bill Murray's there and there's lots of people to do heavy yeah. lifting and L Michael just has to stand there and be sort of charming. And in this, LeBron acts too much. <laughs> He's very bad and his character in general is dislikable. He's just like a mm, don't have fun, no fun, <laughs> fundamentals instead. And Who Michael doesn't? Jordan is fun, <laughs> He's fun in Space Jam. He makes fun of himself. Mm -hmm. He plays baseball in it off the top. <laughs> also, I just want to point out a massive plot hole, um, and there will be many. But oh, yeah. Space Jam 2, there is a scene where his son is clearly working on a video game, and mm. LeBron comes in, and you can still see the video game, but you can also see um, – the what is it the video game camp whatever but in that scene lebron goes i'm gonna go pitch a movie do you want to come <laughs> and his yeah. son goes okay then they go to a meeting with sarah silverman god bless her she was trying her most yeah. and then lebron goes i don't do movies i'm a basketball player and i thought <laughs> what the full hell 
<laughs> is happening? And why is the internet so mad? <laughs> why did he agree to go? Yeah. And then and then be, realize that he wasn't about it at all. Also, mm -hmm. why was Sarah Silverman in it? Why was Sarah uh, Silverman? For five minutes. And why did the algorithm send her a personalized email? And she was like, ah, perfect. The algorithm sent me an email. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So wait, what was that? The algorithm sent an email to connect LeBron, like to bring LeBron into the meeting or something? Yes. Like and the, the algorithm set all that up. And then they, he, the algorithm was like, we're going to take LeBron and put him in all these shows, but it's going to look so shit that anyone would say, I don't want to do that. That looks bad. <laughs> yeah. But then they're like, well, you don't have a choice. Yeah. And because also, yeah. I've used your son's video game to harness the pa pl powers of NBA players, I the, guess. <laughs> yeah, the, the, um, the also the the big plot hole for me was that you had a room full of studio execs, which was Sarah Silverman's time to shine. Or I think it was just Sarah glimmer. Silverman, and then LeBron's mm -hmm. assistant, for which we didn't get a who, what, where. Oh, we why. never got to know anything about him. Yeah, he was just no. like the best friend. Yeah. Okay, but the thing that the big plot hole for me was that the uh, the a studio people would at all give anything other than themselves credit for an idea. They were just like, a computer came up with that. Isn't that great? <laughs> the whole computer came up with this p like pitch and idea. And then when they Le were like happy that they didn't do any work. <laughs> yeah. But then when LeBron was like, I'm a basketball player, they were like, yeah, you're so right. This is so stupid. And I was like, but wouldn't your job be to convince him otherwise? What's this meeting? <laughs> yeah. What is this meeting? I also think, okay, if we take one half step back, not a big step back, we got to talk about introducing Al G Rhythm. Okay. Uh, which is just a great, just mwah, as far as naming things go. Right. Yeah. Uh, big fan of that. And that's the thing, actually, like on paper, looking at the plot points, a part of me was like, oh, it's kind of fun. Like if you look at the at the plotting on paper, you're like, yeah, it's like a computer program. It's kind of modernized. The algorithm is like mm -hmm. going to like zap him in. Like it was a clever way to get him into the like into the animated world of the Warner Bros. IP. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I think you're not convinced at all by my <laughs> argument. No, listen, when we see Don Cheadle, do we get excited? Of course. Um <laughs> When I saw him, I was like, listen, I'd also like some extra coin to buy a house. And if it was this way, then it would be this way. But I don't need to see, now call me a curmudgeon 35-year-old uh, young woman. I don't need to see an actor moving his hands, which you know he just kind of did. And then in post, they figured it out. They animate to his hands, it yeah. It looked nuts. And the um, alien he's working with was also nuts. Literally, as I said that, a virus and threat protection came up. Um, because even my computer's like, please do not talk about Don Cheadle. <laughs> so, yeah, the choice of making the main bad guy Don Cheadle of all characters had me just like, I was killing myself in the theater because I was just imagining like the perfect, so they make this movie, they're imagining their perfect audience. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little boy, little girl, like mom and dad, they go to the movie and like the little boy is like, like, mom, it's Don Cheadle. <laughs> like, what was, what was their thinking there where they were like, the bad guy will be i don't know yeah. you know from black monday <laughs> and I hotel rwanda don Chido well that's was part there. of it all that <laughs> don Chido the, was there all <laughs> that's the part of the movie that makes me wonder who it was even for oh totally and, and if you're wondering why i sound so much better now halfway through the episode it's because i turned my mic on so that's oh, what happened chris <laughs> <laughs> we did a record test i know we did it and then i and then i didn't hit record but what I'm saying now was that, um, like, all the references in it about Warner Brothers, you got the mask in yeah. there, you've got, like, uh, Mad Max, you got the Matrix. Those are all for us, <laughs> and they take up a good chunk of the movie. Mm -hmm. A good we're chunk. We're supposed to go, look at that. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I know that. Rick and Morty. <laughs> Cool. No Rick kid is Morty. watching Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty had more lines than Sarah Silverman. It's <laughs> but also, so true. Sarah Silverman isn't necessarily a kid's property. I guess maybe from they wouldn't recognize her as the voice from uh, Wreck It Ralph. But like that was no. But that's yeah, the and closest the we come to like yeah. Is Looney Tunes? It's slapsticky. It's classic. So that's not even really for kids anymore but either. I also <laughs> felt that they underwrote the Looney Tunes because like. You know, when we were all watching the movie, I was like, okay, 
I can easily rewrite this movie in that it's like, why did all the tunes leave? Like, is it because people are like kids are like, they have just graduated to like really intense video games. Like we've lost a childish night naivete. Like what bugs was just like, they all left. <laughs> it was like, we gotta go find them. Great, oh, like, yeah. Great bugs. Thank Thank exactly. <laughs> so, so yeah, the first of all, good bugs. But to catch people up, basically the algorithm is really upset that uh, LeBron didn't go for his idea because algae rhythms I, uh, and his sidekick, who is the like mascot from Shaw Cable. Um, yeah, basically. The little blue wave guy. <laughs> yeah, totally. They, uh, his whole motivation in the movie was to get recognition, to be recognized or to, to be called. He wants to, he wants people to know how great he is. They already the whole, do. Whole, people are addicted to their screens. We're yeah. like, it made no sense. He was just like, wow, LeBron didn't like my idea. So now the yeah. whole world has to get sucked into my world or something. I yeah. was like, then wouldn't so you die? <laughs> So he sucks. Uh, first of all, he sucks the sun, I think, into the server world, right? And, how and did the that sun has. Sorry, go ahead. The, oh, well, I was just going to catch people up and say, like, he sucks him into the server world and then he gets to know him a bit or something. Figures out like he didn't know what his next move was going to be because mm -hmm. he got his next move from the sun's video game. He was like, I developed this technology that perfectly scans people. And like imports them into the game. And he's like, oh, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> and then they do a little bit of like kind of poking fun at that stealing people's uh, data or something like that. He's like, I promise not to. I promise it's yours and we'll respect your privacy. Now oh. go and take all the code apart and figure it out. I didn't even pick that up. I just thought yeah. when the sun was scanning all those famous basketball players, I thought, ugh, nepotism. <laughs> Nepotism. You know. Yeah, he got to he got to scan them into his game because yeah, his dad is super rich and knows them all and is great at basketball. Yeah. He's just So on then the court. eventually, oh. yeah, so then eventually Algae Rhythm scans or in I guess imports his dad and then yeah. decides his next move which is to prove how great he is by beating his dad at his son's basketball game. It made mm -hmm. And then is that he, right? And everybody who's watching it, I think, yeah. is aware that if LeBron loses, they all die. So it's a ticketed <laughs> event. It's a ticketed event. And they all tune in on their phones, but yeah. accidentally, but instead of getting to watch it, I guess they were just going to like watch a basketball game between a father and son yeah, on, on their, their phone. phone. Just like the two yeah. firefighters that look at their. Hey buddy, take a look at this. I got the oh, yeah. I got the game. We just put that fire out. You want to check out the game on my phone? I got the iPhone 12. That you want it? It, but if that was the actual dialogue, Chris, it would have that elevated the film. Oh, um, totally. Yeah, we would have had. Yeah, I would love to do a little bit of a rewrite on that whole yeah. thing. Yeah, because it could have used it could have used some. Here's okay, the Chris. best point yeah. uh, any that could ever be made about this movie called Space Jam Two, <laughs> a new legacy. It wasn't in space at all. None, not even. <laughs> it had close. nothing to do with space. There no. were no space aliens. Jam with Michael Jordan has aliens come down from space mm -hmm. <laughs> and they take over the powers of of basketball players, and then we get a very fun B plot actually. Uh, where we see all the basketball players try to um, figure out why they can't play anymore. So yes. you got like Charles Barkley. Um, oh, that's fun. <laughs> Remember, and, and then they're and all Larry playing, Bird, but they can't dribble, and they can't they can't do anything. Right. Yeah, and that's enjoyable. Whereas in this one, all of the famous basketball players we got to meet were a little conceited and got to be scanned and talked about how great they were and then became the bad guys. And, and here was yeah. my question. And again, tell me to pump the brakes if we're going too far. But um, obviously, we love to see a WNBA, um, you know, piece of the pie in the film. It was nice to see yeah. some players. But Represent. why were they snakes and spiders? Like, because they're <laughs> snaky people? Like, I was like, the woman becomes the snake and the other woman's a tarantula? Like, why? <laughs> yeah, I think that was just an attempt to, like, make them monsters again, like the first one. But it made no sense because it was like, was that their inner character? Like, I was thinking way too hard, you know? Yeah. Also, like, again, not to go back to the tunes, but did they hate Bugs Bunny? Was he hurt? Did Daffy <laughs> Duck, like, did they lose contact? Like, like there was that, never yeah. any convincing that they need to play this game. Like, it wasn't even like yeah. they were like, I've been there before. I don't know. Like, they were all just like, I guess we're playing this game now. Like, what the full 
F-U-C-K. <laughs> well, and, and yeah, oh, and to sick. catch... <laughs> to catch to catch the people up again. I don't know if I need to be doing the catch up uh, routine all the time, but like LeBron goes to collect the tunes to help him uh, play this basketball game. He goes to the planet, the like Warner Brothers. Or wait, what was the? It was the Tune Planet. There's planets within the server. He goes to That's the, the only space that exists. But it's like, my understanding that Looney Tunes lived in the center of the Earth. Uh, well, was, not in the server. In the server, they have the their server. own planet of animated stuff. Yeah. But for some reason, everybody had left Bugs Bunny, like you alluded to. They must hate him or something. But they were just banished yeah. from their own planet just for because. And, they and, didn't really and <laughs> explain stayed, why the, they were split up. Yeah, and Bugs stayed just because as well. And yeah. um, none of that is unpacked. And also, <laughs> it's never really unpacked, like... LeBron makes a list as a cartoon man, so who cares? I don't care to see him as a cartoon. But he makes a list of like people on his team, like Superman, Spider-Man, whatever. Yeah. It's never really explained why he can't have them. <laughs> no, he literally <laughs> goes, doesn't he go to the Justice League? No. That's where he gets Daffy Duck. Yeah, but yeah, why well, does that's Justice another League? thing that's unclear. Why is why are all these Looney Tune characters scattered out throughout yeah. all these uh, yeah, Warner again. Brothers property? Like, like why is that not unpacked in the Matrix? Yeah. It's like why? M when MacGruber made a list of a team he had to assemble. MacGruber <laughs> made the list and he got everyone on that list. They all tragically yeah. die almost instantly in a van. <laughs> yes, but he got them. I'll tell you why. Yeah, you he know, didn't Grandma's get the list. in the Matrix. You know, I think there's a new Matrix movie coming out. Oh, oh there is a new. So no, there 100 percent is. So in Matrix that's 4. why there's so much Matrix talk yeah. in this movie in general. Yeah. It's like to remind us of the Matrix and that we love it. <laughs> Do we? It's Do the, we the still? whole thing. The whole movie is a billboard. The whole thing. Front look, to, to to Stacy's point, like I don't understand why when he went to go get Daffy Duck, he was doing some Justice League stuff. Yeah. Why none of the Justice League was at all interested in the story of, like, saving humanity and his son uh, from an evil... Yeah. That's their whole vibe. That's the bag of the Justice League. Oh, your kid? <laughs> you need to produce your son? But he kept saying that. Produce my son. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I, you better produce my son in five minutes. <laughs> But none of them were like, I'm busy. You know, an opportunity yeah. for a joke there. You know, yeah. Spider-Man going, mm, I got to go kiss a, a lady upside down. Something. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll take Daffy Duck, though, from this. And why <laughs> yeah. the grandma from the Matrix? Why not the rest of the Matrix people? I mean. You could have had a Keanu there. A Keanu. And let me tell you about grandma. <laughs> she already proved that she's pretty limber. It wasn't like all of a sudden on the court she had a special skill. Like she was like flipping, kicking bust yeah. an ass from the top yeah so i didn't i didn't care about grandma you know yeah she never she didn't have much of an arc <laughs> yeah no and the, another thing <laughs> it's it, it goes back to a one of the first points about lebron not really ever playing basketball <laughs> in the game he he never. is there a lot he's always on court i think he's i think he scores three baskets now, well, yeah. what those the points were all over the. I don't know the rules or how this yeah. uh, the point scoring worked in this particular basketball game, and maybe that would make the stakes a little bit better if if we as an audience could understand that. Oh, he shot, he shot it to the, the moon, and then um, and then it bounced. <laughs> Wiley <off> Coyote, <laughs> um, you know, split himself into five people, and they all jumped through t TNT and blah blah blah. Oh, yeah. that's a thousand points. We know that. That would have been classic. yeah. There was no point structure. That would have been really <laughs> cool, actually, if like at any point LeBron worked with the tunes <laughs> because he yeah he was kind of like no silliness, but that never translated. It meant nothing, and like the tunes never like had a moment where they got to be silly and got all these points because it was very it was very unclear. Well, and I think the stakes are dumped right off the top just by how the game starts. It's very hype, by the way. Like, the graphics team did a, an excellent job. Uh, they're about the only group that did do an excellent job in the movie. Yeah. So it looks very cool. Yeah, I agree with Chris. Very... I'd like to come back to that point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Apparently, I'm about to get hard to disagree with it on that. But what I'm saying is everybody gets digitized into the world, and they're freaking out. And that's are when they? LG... 
Well, hang on. And that's when LG announces that they that they all they all go to the basketball game. They get mm-hmm. digitized in in random spots and then you know all you know come they follow the Game of Thrones characters to the basketball game. So it's half human beings and half IP and Algae announces the whole thing of like if you beat if you beat me then you are all free and if you don't beat me then I then I get to keep everybody and then they add the extra thing of the stakes like okay well if we uh, so if we lose everybody stays stuck in this server forever uh, well that's not too bad says the says the tunes and then he adds on the addendum of like and I'll delete the tunes <laughs> <laughs> so the stakes already are a little weird and a little like staircase of stakes and then yeah. after the initial shock of the fact that all these people might be trapped in a digital world forever they're right back to cheering and enjoying the basketball game and, and I would disagree mm-hmm. that there was shock at the at the statement that you're going to be stuck there because there was a big gasp don't you remember that? No, uh, I don't. There was probably a gasp. There was a gasp. Um, they cut to it. There was, was like probably a... um, ill acted, and that's why it didn't <laughs> land. It was probably bad. <laughs> there was a gasp, but they went back to cheering for the brother, the yeah. opposing team. That's oh. the other thing about this. Okay, uh, listen, we, we, we love Bugs Bunny, or, or the question is, do we? I, I don't know if <laughs> we. It's right. Do we need the Looney Tunes yeah. anymore? I think I liked Taz when I was a kid. Do it. Bugs was always so smug, but if we're gonna if you're gonna have the Looney Tunes in, have them as the Looney Tunes. Like Space Jam, the first one, they're cartoons. They're not like digital form of them where we can see what their hair would look like oh, if all they the were fur. like living, yeah. breathing uh, stuffies that you win at the carnival. Just like they don't need to look that way. I think it would have been cooler to see how technology had has advanced to have still them as cartoons. The Space Jam 1 still looks cool to see yeah. the cartoons yeah. running around in real life, and we just didn't get any of that. I well, agree. Got, oh, sorry, Chris, go ahead. I mean, we got them to see them in certain clips of movies. <laughs> yeah, I it. would agree. I feel like it missed... <laughs> Like, you know, there was no like nostalgia. There was no callbacks. There was no references. There was like very few and they weren't well done. And also it felt like just a commercial. So it's like they've digitized these characters to like see furry. And I was like, oh, is this just to sell like stuffies? Like it wasn't cool. Like I do love the Looney Tunes. I felt there was a huge missed mark here about like where like cartoons and entertainment is now and where they were before. And that sort of could have lent the mind of of like how LeBron views success and how his son now views success and that could have like oh interesting weaved through had anyone taken a little break a second pass at that a script second, <laughs> have a salad have a bubbly and think it through <laughs> sleep on it and go back so wait yeah. Stacy, are you telling me that you didn't appreciate any of the foghorn leghorn material that was in the movie don't you think kids <laughs> want to reconnect with foghorn leghorn <laughs> Also, like, yeah, I, I, I also felt like the relationship between Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny was like a partnership where LeBron, I don't think, acknowledged them at all. He didn't care. He didn't, didn't care, care about Bugs. No, but he learns in the end to be, because he learns to not be fun. He learns, or to be fun. He <laughs> learns he? in the he end. To, yeah, he, like, does, it's his fundamentals, fundamentals. And then in the end, he's like, never mind, it's tune time. You guys do your thing. And then he but, watches as they do stuff. But he doesn't learn because he <laughs> wins by doing his move. So it's not even like right. he did. He goes to what works for him and it doesn't work. And now he has to get silly. He <laughs> never gets silly. I feel like LeBron was like, I don't do tune stuff. I'm not doing tune stuff and you're not getting it from me. I yeah, feel I like, like that was a conversation. Yeah. I like that the actual pitch for Space Jam was at the start of the movie kind of thing, right? He was like, I don't do movies. I'm a yeah. basketball star. And they were like, oh, let's use that scene in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we'll show why he shouldn't do them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we talk about the biggest, um, the yeah. biggest entrance and the and I would say the biggest letdown in the entire film? Yeah, yeah, I know what we're going for. Okay, get, go yeah. for it. Tell us. So they go. We got Michael Jordan. They're in the they're <laughs> in the locker room. They're down. They're hurting because LeBron has hurt their heart in a way that he'll never grasp. And then someone goes, "We got Michael." <laughs> 
And we all in the audience, we we clutch our popcorn. We go, did they get <laughs> like, that's pretty sweet. That's he, pretty sweet. Did he, you know, drop the dice and the gambling debts for but a couple days to come on set? <laughs> did he? Did Michael J apologize to Pippin? Is he here? Is he doing it? And who is it? Not Michael Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Okay. Who? Sexy. Fire. I was very excited to yeah. see. I let out an audible woo yep. in the theater. And, and, and a lot of people did. Six to midnight, should, am I right, fellas? Boing. He should, <laughs> <laughs> he should have been the bad guy, maybe, because I feel like kids probably relate or know Michael B. Jordan better than... And then you could have had a whole bunch of Michael Jordan mix-up jokes. Sure. <laughs> with that the bad guy. He, I mean, he referenced uh, Friday Night Lights, and then he Which, left. But I mean, he, we love yeah, Friday Night Lights. You know, Lights. that thing that, the thing that children know Michael B. Jordan Tammy from. Parker. Friday Night Friday Lights. Night Lights. <laughs> Clear eyes, full, full hearts. hearts. Can't, can't lose. lose. Can't, can't lose. Can't lose. <laughs> and the thing that was crazy is Michael B. Mm. couldn't have cared less if he lived or died. Eating popcorn. His life's on the line. Okay? Oh, yeah. He was about to be trapped forever. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it have been fun if he had joined the team, full mm-hmm. eye, full eyes or full heart, whatever? I, I'm all <laughs> started missing. playing football. No, but he, ba- I mean, he might as well have. Yeah, and everyone <laughs> yeah, can feel rules. the same. He have said he could have played football. He basically <laughs> comes in, does Friday Night Lights, and then goes, "All right, see you later." It's like yeah. your life's on the line, and they're down by like a million points, I guess. Yeah, and still Superman or the Justice like they nobody's they haven't tuned in. You can't There's get like the it their or whole <laughs> Pennywise the freakish Pennywise extra who was doing like going for the Oscar or at least a like a daytime Emmy nod. <laughs> oh yeah, all of those extras needed to just turn it down a little bit. It was just a, a sea full of extras dressed as uh, Warner Brothers property. There's going the hard, the mask yeah. was in there, just going for it. Absolute oh, pant loads. Absolute. They really, <laughs> they really leaned. They really leaned into the Game of Thrones stuff. There was like six or seven references, and they're they're really hoping that we still care about Game of Thrones. But they didn't get the memo that we've all deleted that from our consciousness. That it's like it's done now. We're done with it's that. Over. We're, but one like, reference and move on. You get one. Shouldn't they have been digitized? as tunes or something like had the audience been like i don't want to be a cartoon i want to be a human i i don't want to live in a screen lesson lesson yeah. lesson lesson let's get off our <laughs> screens let's become humans cool. yeah i like it but instead we had this like it was like as if they went to a carnival and they said hey carnies it's halloween night let's have a good time it was the wild wild west of too much <laughs> can i say that and it was yes like, you know um I hated it. Any, me. any, any, any look at the crowd made me visibly upset. <laughs> See, now I kind of liked the looks at the crowd, but Peter. not in a quality way, not in a way that mm. it was like, oh, it's good that they're here. It's just like, I really enjoyed the respite from the plot. Can I ask you uh, a question? Are you a Disney? Characters. Are you a Disney person? You like Disney stuff? Yeah, I like some Disney stuff. You like going to Disneyland, you see people dressed up and we all pretend it's not yeah. some teen who's like, I love Broadway. Yeah, yeah, I like okay. I like to I then like to think tracks. of them as the characters. And this tracks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then things really heat up because the game is not going well. They decide to do more tunish stuff, so they're mm-hmm. now they they don't blow. I mean, the 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 goon squad is that what mm-hmm. they're called? The goon squad. They mm-hmm. blow a thousand point lead pretty rapidly. Uh, which is crazy because, like, yeah, you're doing tune stuff, but they're still doing their stuff. The score should continue going up, mm. but they instantly dominate them. Yeah, and then they take a quick break mm-hmm. to have a Porky Pig uh, rap battle. That's all that Porky Pig does. <laughs> so I guess was Porky Pig booked as the like halftime show? And or... you better believe he sets himself up to have a rhyming couplet with "That's all, folks." Oh, and then he <laughs> mic drops. <laughs> You better believe that happened. I see Stacy so moved that she's just <laughs> she's just shaking her head silently there. I think that's moved by you know, it. I think I, she thought it was impressive. I should probably officially apologize to Chris because I was watching this movie beside him and <laughs> I kept leaning over and saying, This movie absolutely sucks. I yeah, and I didn't this. get to, you know, formulate my own opinion on it. I just had to go, you you know. I guess it does. You're, I guess it does suck. 
I think I'm being told it sucks. It must suck. Listen, I'm I just think, speaking yeah. it out loud. <laughs> Porky Pig rapping was maybe the saddest thing. It's like it's like when my 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 mom forced me to take a hip hop class, right? I, I said yes. this doesn't feel right, and it doesn't feel right to this audience. I don't yeah. think anyone needs to be watching me um, shake my flat ass. It had so. <laughs> It had so much of like a corporate vibe to it. They just could not shake the like the mm. I don't know what you'd call that the focus grouping or the whatever it was the yeah. feeling the corporate stink was all over that one moment. <laughs> I just what makes me upset is we know there was like people around a table going we nailed it we got we it the draft and that was our the that was the big song we got basically out yeah. of the sound out oh, of it, the yeah. soundtrack was a major part of Space Jam. We had hits after hits. It was one of my first CDs that I got with my own money. I can picture the back of it in my mind right now. You know, you had some people who were absolutely canceled on there singing hit songs like I Believe I Can Fly. <laughs> we don't we don't we don't acknowledge We don't talk that about that anymore. anymore. Yeah. Uh, but we had Seal on there and Love all Seal. Like Method Man, Red Man cuz they were like and the classic Space Jam song, which of I don't know why they just didn't play that one as or well. Or remix it at they, the very yeah. least. Why didn't Porky Pig just sing that? Like, I don't understand. Everybody <laughs> get up. It's time to jam now. We got a real <laughs> What uh, What didn't you understand? <laughs> Wouldn't it have been cool if, like, they were super down and out and, like, the old, like, goon squad came back and they were like remember we learned our ways and we're here to help you all oh, out oh aliens and, uh, yeah and i was just like hoping he, bill murray go. would come or something but it seems like lebron doesn't need fucking friends and he doesn't need <laughs> he doesn't need his support system <laughs> also i hate to bring it up no one cares about this daughter did she even have a name oh the daughter? no daughter. daughter i think it was daughter yeah we call yeah. her daughter <laughs> yeah daughter yeah. and wife Mm -hmm. And there was just no stakes. And did that other son feel jealous? Like he loved basketball and yet he's getting no attention. You know, squeaky <laughs> wheel gets the grease, I suppose. That's true. The other brother who loves basketball and is fairly good at it. Also, not even involved in the game to save his brother. <laughs> no. He could have been helpful. No, absolutely. And then like... When, and then the son only realizes maybe this is not a good situation when his dad starts having, I would say, not even that much fun. <laughs> he laughed at them like, you know, someone like a Subway sandwich guy made a joke and LeBron was like, OK. Like okay. <laughs> and then he looks over at his dad and he's like, oh, no, his dad is beating me and he's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, not really. <laughs> kind like, of. LeBron never needed his son's skills. <laughs> like they never did come to a meeting of that's like true. I understand where you're coming from and dad I understand yeah. where you're coming from you know that's true yeah. so this yeah sorry go ahead no his son's name this is just a side point his son's name is Dom which makes it the second film in a row that I watched with a guy named Dom in it talking too much about family <laughs> fast nine <laughs> fast and nine by the way for family. those for those asking fantastic film you know, when you get ludicrous, they go to space. They go to space. Ludicrous and Tyrese. <laughs> they and me, go. They go. They go. And let me tell you, <laughs> they sell the shit out of it. And I believed yeah. every second. And are they floating in a car with no wheels? Damn right. Now, just to that's true. Just to uh, uh, bring that back in, one thing you said I, that I love is that like at no point did the son's skills ever like help out. They kind of just no. created the problem, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that algae then exploited. Uh, the um, the moment, the decisive moment where they win mm -hmm. is also based not on the... They remembered a move that LeBron does. But the reason that it works is because the sun... That was a bug in the game. So in other words, the sun didn't program it well, so it makes the game freeze. <laughs> so he's like, all right, here's what we need to do. We're going to do that move that freezes the game so it'll s somehow stop algae from cheating. Mm-hmm. I assume Algie could have just patched that uh, glitch out, you but think he didn't. He would have, yeah. Didn't get around to it. He was too busy uh, creating some new sort of like uh, Black Mirror esque technology to zoom people into a server. But he decides they decide like, okay, we are down by one point. We need one point because apparently that's only worth one. Just like getting a basket, I guess, is just one point. 
So depends on how you do it. There's lots of style points involved. <laughs> it's all style points. So Bonus. I don't know why he didn't get a little couple style points for some insurance, but he does the the final glitch. But the problem with the final glitch is it deletes your character. So stakes through the roof right now. And then they ruin the stakes. They ruin the stakes because LeBron is like, oh, it's okay. I can do it. I'm not a character. So I won't get deleted. I'm a real person. Hilarious. And so stakes Which was the over. funniest line of the whole movie. <laughs> funniest line of the I'll whole movie. I'll do it. I'm not a video game character. <laughs> I'm real. <laughs> the like... stakes over. Stakes of the movie over. <laughs> so then he goes to do the move, but Bugs Bunny is like, no way. I'll do it. But for some, but why though? Yeah, you already established that LeBron is way die. safer. <laughs> and then you're like, I think it would be better for the plot if I killed myself at the end of this movie. <laughs> That's what I've decided. I'll like sacrifice if you're outside... myself as a, some sort of shitty Jesus. And <laughs> it would be just. Bunny like... is shitty Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I'll die so that all of you can live. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> and let me somebody like had already were, said oh no no everybody's you know it'll be fine he's like no it it wasn't sad i mean like i love bugs bunny and the only thing that was sad was when he was glitching on the ground no one helped him and lebron was like i gotta go back home and i was like what the <laughs> fuck you do You're, bugs bunny's glitching on the ground for he's dying the kid doesn't care LeBron doesn't care. Like there was no moment yeah. of compassion of like, what has our family yeah. problems done? Look at the consequences of not loving each other. Well, and it's accidentally a uh, um, proof or a metaphor, I guess, for our current generation's level of interest in Bugs Bunny as well. Like the son had no, had at no point yeah. had no interaction or recognition of Bugs Bunny. And then at the end when he's dying is like, I don't know, it's a, it's like a digital cartoon character that my parents liked. Like, yeah, he's not it, interested in saving Bugs. Bugs Bunny to this little kid was like a weird uncle at a wedding going, I'm your Uncle Dave. I'm your mom's <laughs> sister's boyfriend's ex. And it's like, okay, Dave, I guess. Like, what the Remember f Uncle Dave? You, yeah, and everyone's like, Uncle Dave. And it's like, you keep saying it, and it's yeah. still not going to click. <laughs> it's not working for <laughs> me. Who's Uncle Dave? This yeah. weird, what was it? Stupid Jesus. <laughs> shitty Jesus. Shitty, shitty Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Dave? Oh, he's shitty Jesus. No. He Remember once saved play? all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He did that one man show behind the Mr. Sub, Shitty Jesus, Uncle Shitty Dave. Jesus. Uncle Dave. It's he Uncle glitched Dave. out to save you and your dad when you guys had that internet <laughs> basketball game. You remember that? No. Tr tries to tell the kid about like uh, being uh, like being in Korea. I remember being in Korea. And he's like, classic <laughs> Uncle Dave. Uncle Am I right? Dave, please. <laughs> but it's also crazy that like there was just no character arc for anyone. The tunes, which in, in the original Space Jam, it's like it's pretty impressive. Like everyone is fully formed. Like you know and. There wasn't any sort of form on the wife of LeBron. She just kept going, win this game for our son. It's like, <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. what's your name? What do you do? Um, I think like, she was wife. She's a wife, yeah. I think she was wife, and then there was little girl. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was so poo, and I felt bad for Bugs, and you thought maybe there would be an, a monologue from Bugs or bring it all together. Um, yeah. And then we don't even see anyone excited that they get to go home we don't see michael b again yeah well, yeah true they should have one more thing about him getting to go and he could even that could even be for warner brothers a good moment for him to announce his next major project or something exactly yeah he's like now i can really get back to that. set on marvel's whatever yeah or whatever exactly. you want to say and through three and i think that <laughs> there was a lot of missed opportunities there like for instance the sun could have like reprogrammed uh bugs bunny rather mm -hmm. than uh showing them. his skills someone yeah showing bugs. his skills I'm only Rather than having like having them just show up at the end, like remember, I did. I don't die sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> I told you I could never get hurt, and I'm <laughs> like, but you did. Okay, and now why are the tunes back in Toonsville? Yeah, and also why are you in real life? That technology for mm -hmm. sure doesn't exist. <laughs> and LeBron seemed unsurprised <laughs> right. by that. Yeah. Is it? Re Le LeBron did not mind at all. No. That's a good point about because of the movie, the way they yeah. set it up. How how do Bugs Bunny escape yeah. the computers? Yeah. Because it's not we're not talking about they live in the earth now and 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 uh Martians yeah. from outer space. It's no. all computer 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, good point. There, how does that technology exist? That backwards. It doesn't exist backwards, and that it also is doesn't the exist forward. It doesn't work. <laughs> and here's the <laughs> yeah. thing: people might be listening to this podcast and going, "What are they talking about?" I agree. We we are trying our best. I and would if, hope. I'm sorry, <laughs> cut you off. No, I was just gonna say, like, if you think we're just three old farts trying to figure mm -hmm. out some Gen Z masterpiece, you're absolutely wrong. Because mm -hmm. a Gen Z or younger, whatever they're gonna be called, is staring at that, asking even more questions. Like we are dumb in comparison to what young people are thinking about this movie. And a young Gen Zer will never know. Unless they watch Space Jam, the original, mm -hmm. yep. the sexual awakening that it was oh, to be yeah. a young oh. boy seeing oh, Lola yeah. Bunny. Okay. All right. Can we please talk about, and Stacey, walk us through this in a safe way so that we don't, you know, step on oh, any landmines here. Let's talk yeah. about some bunny titties. <laughs> OG a Lola Bunny all was I'm saying beautiful. Is, yeah. All I'm saying is. Gorgeous. Yeah, and Stacy, like maybe this is brave of me. You can tell me how brave I'm being, but I think that <laughs> I think that women and women bunnies can be extremely sexy and yep. very good at basketball, and Listen, both that's are my whole are life. valid. Yes, of course. And all that happened in Space Jam Two was that Lola was stripped of 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 any sexual appeal she had and reduced to a less than minor character she was that's the actually, other thing. she spoke less i would the say real, in this the real the real tragedy isn't the desexification which you could make a good argument for why they probably should have done that sure of course the, of the course. real tragedy is that they just reduced her and i think what stacy's pointing out all the ladies in the movie to extras and yeah. also i want to point out and not to get too deep about it because uh, you know but like <laughs> lola when they find her is like doing the wonder woman thing which i think thought like did Gal Gadot just say I'm not doing this because it's the only it. <laughs> animated thing but she's like I'm gonna like I want to do this I'm gonna become this warrior and then two men are like freaking help us come do this basketball game and she's like okay well I guess I'll give up my whole life um because these I guys that. I haven't I love that interpretation um, this guy I've never met, LeBron, um, who's not even talking to me or looking at me, wants me to sort of change my whole life for him. So I guess I will. Um, and then she still gets the title because she's doing good for men. And then, and then LeBron was like, just shut the fuck up and probably just dribble, you know, just do what you're good at oh and goodness. we'll come to you at the end. That's so funny. I'm going to be a, a warrior hero. Two boys. Come help us with our basketball game. I guess game. I'll give it all up. I guess oh, I'll do it. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, and then Lola's like, like, where was her cool ponytail? Like, where was her like... Yeah. You know, like there was never a moment where she shone. She was just like, yeah. ouch, they hurt me. Ouchie, ouch. Um, yeah, totally. Yeah. I think that like... Yeah, it was. It's that classic, and you know, you know, not to be that guy or whatever, but maybe it was all made by guys. Do you know what I mean? It's that classic thing of like, well, what do we do? Let's well, just not make her sexy. We better do that, and yeah. then they just forgot and to do anything with the make character. Her character at all. Now, I want to say, like in general, I think it was. Like, I think it was that no one had a character arc. Literally nobody. Like the story yeah. is, yeah, it just it makes absolutely no sense. Tip to taint, not at all. Yeah, to taint. To taint. <laughs> Actually, remove that. That didn't Ooh. feel great. No, no, no that you know is what? in. In fact, I'm, we're gonna yeah. cut that and make it a social media. Where that's going on isolated on Instagram. Well, guys, follow our new podcast, <laughs> Tip to Taint, with Stacey McGonagall. I think that the I think that the best thing to come out of watching uh, Space Jam: New Legacy was you saying Tip to Taint. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I gotta say, the best thing that came out of watching Space Jam uh, Two, I refuse to say it's. A real name like Peter a new did, legacy, yeah. Understood. Um, will not is uh, I had some amazing snacks. I had mm -hmm. a beautiful Coke Zero. I had like just enough ice in it. It was perfect. Had I, yeah. do I wish I would have gotten a nacho double cheese? Of course. Sure. <laughs> but I was super happy with the popcorn that I had chosen. So that was delicious. And that is a Fair. good point. Yeah. Uh, we haven't been able to go to movies in mm -hmm. over a year. Yeah, there was just the general excitement of even being there at all that you know should have made the movie better but it didn't because that movie sucked shit <laughs> <laughs> guys i think we've been talking a lot about like you know representation is important in these kinds of movies right and in our critique of it representation should also be very important and we are a couple of like i don't think we're the age i think we can all agree we're not the age of people that this was made for 
but kind yeah. of maybe it was. Like all uh, yeah, the references say, were for us. But it, I would say overall it is directed at the younger generation trying to get yeah. new fans into Looney Tunes like I, we were. But uh, they didn't make them cool. So, I mean, I think they're dead. I, yeah. You know, they yeah. just. But we could get the opinion of this a, is what I'm, uh, favorite guest. This is what I'm getting at. I think we need to check in with an actual Gen Z or whatever yeah. Gen uh, my friggin' nephew is. So let's check in really quickly and see what uh, Kyle, my nephew, thought of Space Jam, A New Legacy. Do you want me to phone him up? Or Yeah, yeah, phone him up. Yeah, I'll phone him. I have his number, which is not weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's ringing. The, Do the we phone wanna... number to the, to the boy who I have in my phone is ringing. <laughs> Kyle! What's up, fellas? What's going on? There you are, buddy. <laughs> Dude, How what's you going doing? on? Oh, you know, I'm freaking thriving, dude. It's freaking summer. <laughs> Digital school, who's that? Don't know her. She's dumped. My heart is dead to her. Ice cold, <laughs> frozen, solid. I've just been kicking it back with my boys, wearing shorts, little tanks. I'm having the best summer of my life. I can't help but notice you've got a background on going there that's uh, very apropos of what we're about to ask you about. We got some Space Jam in the background. <laughs> Dude, I want to thank you, honestly, for acknowledging the effort I've been putting into my Zooms, all right? Digital school ain't no joke, all right? Now, if you want to keep it up on the tops of the social level, you got to get some killer Zoom backgrounds. Look at this. We got some We got some bugs over here. We got some, like, titties over here. It's freaking no, sick, No, no, that's Lola Bunny, and she's, <laughs> and she's just fine. And we respect her. She's an amazing basketball player. I can't wait to make her my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so you still okay. find Lola Bunny to be, like, a sort of a sex symbol for Honestly, the modern kid? I want to tell you, like, obviously, like, you got to respect, like, you know, the creators and the graphic designers. Would I have loved a bigger cup? Of course. But I'm not a greedy man, you know? Absolutely not. I'm all about personality titty second. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, But second, still high up, Still though. second. Like, so still love second. them high up. Love them high up. Am I right, Peter? Chris, yeah, okay, you get all right. it? Cool, cool, cool. Two little okay, cool, nasty cool. boys. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Listen, Kyle, Kyle overall, yeah. what would you... You know what would you score the new Space Jam movie? Did you did you like it? Uh, did did, did you, you like see the it? soundtrack? Did you buy it with your own money? Like, how's this thing influenced you? Here's the thing. All right, walk with me, fellas. Walk We're with me. Okay. If the walk gets mm -hmm. too far, let's sit down and take a break. Yeah, fair All enough. All right, but. You know, the way that I think about Space Jam 2 is the same way I think about just like having full on diarrhea, right? Now, <laughs> at first you're like, oh, my stomach. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But then the next day you're like, baby, I got to restart. You know, there is like, you know, my stomach's feeling light and bright. And that's kind of what I felt like Space Jam was. <laughs> like, I wasn't having a good time, but have I had a good time talking about the movie since it ended? Of mm -hmm. course. You know, so um, I'm happy it happened. And I can't wait to forget it in about six months. So you're saying that you had, yeah, the movie was so bad it made you just enjoy the next day. Oh, yeah. You ever <laughs> seen a terrible movie and then you're like, are you catching this shit? And then your <laughs> boys are like freaking poo poo. And then you just, you know, you go nuts about it. It's been a blast. And I want to thank LeBron for all of his efforts. What was your favorite? What was your favorite like reference that you totally understood? Like Michael B. Jordan, did you get his reference? Did you like? The Matrix. Well, I got to say, I love the basketball. Uh, I like <laughs> okay, seeing yeah, it. Safe, so I yeah. knew at least that that's what it was about. Yeah. Um, and I'm just thankful it was there. And it just taught me um, that if I want to get anywhere in life, that I have to remove all fun and listen to everything my dad says, or I'm going to get sucked in the internet and we're going to have to <laughs> play ball. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That yeah. I guess, yeah, that's pretty much the takeaway of the uh, of the moral of it. Listen to your father. Listen to your father, and um, also quick question: like, I need one of these compression bands because I've been playing b-ball all wrong. Yeah, are you an active? <laughs> you play basketball a lot? No, but you know, when you Google stuff, it's like I'm scared about my veins. You know, maybe I'm not like taking care of them. Maybe they're swollen. I don't know. <laughs> okay, are you a bit? It sounds like you might be a bit of a hypochondriac. I don't know, Chris. Uh, let me ask you a question. Have we been living through a global pandemic? Can I get a vaccine? Absolutely not. Am I expected to go back to school unvaccinated? Yes, I am. I'm terrified. See, and Chris, this is the thing I'm realizing. Like, when we make movies for kids now, mm -hmm. we have to take into account the stuff they've been through. They're being traumatized weekly. Right. Uh, and 
and it's just not the same experience as us. That's why we like the slapstick tunes, but that's not for them anymore. When I watched this film and I saw at least 300 bogus extras doing the absolute most, being absolute pieces of crap, it was like all the nerds from my school got together and got to do Halloween for like four weeks. And to think, not but one mask, and to think that all those extras, that Pennywise specifically, got COVID tested probably rapidly. How many times you think? 12? Sickens me absolutely <laughs> sickens me <laughs> who got COVID on that set who got COVID point. on that yeah. set yeah because that was yeah. absolutely filmed during the pandemic probably in a day it seems like that thing was filmed in yeah a day. I kind of think they got it done in about a day yeah. <laughs> I can't go to my friend Donovan's house but that freaky weirdo Pennywise got to eat craft services and walk around and talk about his <laughs> one-man show ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> all right well i mean thanks kyle listen it's been great to get your perspective on it and i'm really sorry that that movie was the same as diarrhea for you <laughs> yeah listen they all can't be hits right and you know peter i want to thank you for taking the time out of what i can only imagine to be a busy schedule to connect with your family i'd like to thank chris <laughs> for staying in touch with me texting me um of course, me about it's emojis not, it's not weird at all and uh and that's, I have uh, asked him to give me your number several times. Uh, he you shouldn't not, have to yeah. give you your family's number. Yeah, that you should have that. No, I, I know, but at some point I have to be given it. Then I can have it forever. I've given it to you. How many times have I been on this that podcast? Was, yeah, I know. That this phone third, died. Third time. The phone died in the contacts. You know the contacts. It's hard to get the contacts to transfer. I can't believe this. This sickens me. This sickens me. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, I'm I love sorry. you, Peter. You make it so hard. It's like no. Chris gets it. It's effortless with us. Yeah. We're talking freaking skateboarding the Olympics. We're talking yeah. about ollies. We're talking about kickflips. We're Fortnite. talking about, you know, All Fortnite. Time. Stop texting Absolutely. my nephew. We talk about Fortnite. It's creepy. Fortnite. He's young. Yeah. I'm, You're an old man now. You're in your middle age. I'm, what? Oh, yeah, I guess I would be. Chris is 36. <laughs> He's thriving. He's trying his best. I mean, it, like I told you, Chris, one step in front of the other. That's all we got to worry about. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That in boners and sweatpants. And that's all we have to worry about. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that so much anymore. Uh, oh, I'm sorry about that, you men. guys. Yeah. It's nuts over here. It yeah. is a wild summer. <laughs> You gotta be careful for those. I remember that, Kyle. You'll be good, though. I don't. I don't know. I don't really want to get into talking about your sweatpants boners, but but you're <laughs> Who's good. Who's being weird you know now, huh? I'm not try you're wasn't the trying. You're the one talking to your nephew about sweatpants boners. I was trying, trying, to. To. Boners. I was no trying to talk gonna, about. If no one's gonna lead me through sweatpants boners, if no one's gonna hold my hand and tell me what to expect, how will I learn? Right now, they're nuts. <laughs> it's just about it's tighter underwear, so you can like tuck it up. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's, I just, I don't feel comfortable talking about your boners with you and, and with Chris in the room. Let alone holding your hand and talking you through it We're either. not going like, to hold your hand. No, gosh, no. Gosh darn no. You know, I guess that's the hardest thing about growing up, you know, if you think about it, like, you know, there was a moment where it was the last time you held your parents' hands, you know, and you didn't know that was going to be the last time. Hmm. Yeah, so Space Jam 2, a new legacy is still in theaters today. So if you want to go see what we were talking about, yep. check it out in oh, theaters. Oh, yeah. And I uh, should have mentioned this uh, somewhere in here at all. Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> this time, this time, this time, this time, it's different. With Peter and Chris. This time, this time, this time, this time, it's different. This podcast has been brought to you by the Sonar Network. Sonar! Oops, drop the podcast. What if people liked and also subscribed? I think we're just down here to kill time. <laughs>